Okay, uh, everybody, we are back. Uh, this is still learning. Unfortunately, it takes a really long time. So in the meantime, we are going to uh, walk through a bit more of this here. Okay, so uh, in, we picked, a t this is not the, the end of kind we picked was Mario. Okay, so that you that calls the make Mario env. So let's find that guy. Make Mario. Okay, that's been imported from wrappers, which is the other one we had open. And here it is right here. Make Mario env. Okay, so it imports Jim, Retro, and then Frame Stack. Frame Stack just takes four frames at a time. That right there, you can set it to whatever you want, but four is the standard one. It's kind of it feels kind of like it's it's helpful because these are CNNs, eh? so these are they don't have any memory, they just uh, classify based on image. So classifying four in a row uh, is helpful to give a sense of time to the AI, so it knows like if this happens and then that happens, this is the result. Um, okay, so the stuff we know in here, we know this one that makes the environment for OpenAI. This buttons uh, is the controller buttons. Uh, Mario X reward. This is new. This is where you get uh, some some interesting stuff. Okay, so um, this wraps around our environment. Do we have an output yet? I'm waiting for a specific kind of output where it tells us how far. Uh, Mario's gotten through the first level. It often takes quite a while, so I may not be able to show you in this video, but uh, hopefully you guys will be able to test it. Maybe you can upload your own, tell me, and I can link to it. Um, so, if you look through this, it talks a lot about visited levels and the current level. This is... It looks a lot like the standard reward system we use. In fact, these variables here, info, level low, level high, high score, they're the kind of variables we would track uh, in the emulator normally to tell the uh, AI how well it's doing. We'd use this in our reward function. However, in this particular case, they're using it to um, just report how far into the game your AI has made it. And that's good, but if I recall anything from when I first started learning AI stuff, it was that I wanted to see the results. And unfortunately, this network, until it's finished training, which takes a ridiculously long time, um, the defaults are set up to be, it's crazy, it's like 10 to the 8 or something like that. A uh, number of time steps, 10 to the 8. And there's a heck load of, uh, a heck and heck load of um, episodes somewhere in here. I can't remember where they are. But there's a lot. So it takes a while. Oh, number of episodes. Max number of episode steps. 4,500. So this will be running on my computer all night tomorrow. I actually don't know how long it takes because I never wait that long. <laughs> oh, here we go. So see this right here? It says all visited levels. This is what you get for output. Currently, this would be world, uh, world 1 level 1. So the very first level is what Mario, our Mario AI, has currently successfully visited using the curiosity algorithm. Um, that's not very far. But hopefully, if you keep training him, he gets significantly farther. And in fact, in the uh, original paper, uh, they show a very successful Super Mario Brothers AI. So it's definitely possible, and uh, uh, if you want to see it, you have to train them up. We're going to stop right now because we want to show you how to do different games. Stepping them. Okay, so where were we? Um, the stuff you got to change. So first, we need to go to the wrappers. And we need to change make Mario env. Okay, our first thing we're going to do is literally just change the game here. We're going to make it... Do I have Super Mario Kart installed? These are great questions. Questions I don't have answers to. Uh -huh. What's going on? So to check if you've got a game um, installed after you ran the import, you can go to stable. These are in reverse alphabetical order. 
Super Mario Kart. Yeah, we don't have Super Mario Kart. So I have previously got Super Mario Kart, so I'm going to go grab that folder and dump it in here. Let me just find it. Super Mario Kart. Uh huh. Okay, so um, once you import it, you'll have a ROM.SFC, uh, the SHA, and then you're going to need to create these files, the scenario files and the data files and a, and a save state. Um, just so you can see, I'll upload these all to my, to my repo. What I have in my data, these are the variables that I'm tracking. This is how you'll know if your guy is making progress. Um, the position on the track. Uh, whether or not you're driving in reverse, the speed, the surface type, so is it dirt or is it is it uh, road or whatever it is, and uh, a timer. These I was separately tracking all these because I was trying to build a Super Mario Kart AI in the same way I did the F-01 using the A2C. But in this one, we... Um, what are we tracking here? So he's done if the timer is, oh look at that, 20,000 or greater. That's not at all what we want to track. The reward doesn't matter because this AI doesn't take the reward variables to, um, it just whether or not it's looking at something new. So I think we need to change this actually. What does scenario 2 say? Okay, scenario 2 is actually what I want to use. Uh, we have, again, the rewards don't count because this AI doesn't look at the reward variables. It gets its reward from seeing new things. So um, if it sits in the same place, it gets no reward. If it gets, if it sees a new place, it gets some reward. Um, okay, so here we go. Surface. So 95 is dirt, I think. And we're done if the variable surface is equal to 95. Okay, so that's the only thing we're going to put into it. So this means the AI will learn not to drive on the dirt. Uh, you can write these AIs to have no done conditions. It'll still work. It'll still totally play. Uh, but it'll take longer, and I'm impatient. <laughs> so I like to do. I like to put in a in a in a done condition. It's kind of against the the point of the curiosity thing. It should have no. Um, implicit rewards. It's supposed to be kind of just like, hey, can I figure out how to explore? And they can. They've proven it in this thing. We're gonna, we want results. Okay, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna put Super Mario Kart. And that's on the SNES. And what was the name of our, I think our save state was L1. Did I just say Snave State? <laughs> so but, okay, so Mario X Reward, we need to go and modify this to make sense for our current game. The only variable we can track is, so they're tracking all these variables, we can't actually track any of those because we don't have them. So we're going to track uh, none of this. Info PO, POS, which I believe is what we have. Correct? Is that correct, guys? What is it? Super Mario Bros. Get out of here. Nope. We are tracking POS. So POS is, in Super Mario Kart, POS is there's like these fictional lines drawn every couple of feet along the track. And uh, I think there's like a hundred, maybe, per, per lap. And then it jumps up by a thousand every lap. So it's just an indication of how far along the track you are. Um, so when you when you modify this Mario X reward thing, it probably makes sense to do a different one per game. But we're just going to show you real quick how to do this now. So you're going to have to come in here. You're going to have to change the um, um, the current level for us is not going to be. A, it's just going to be a single integer. The set is fine, current max is fine. This is another integer. I don't remember what the initial state is. You, you can find it, but it doesn't matter. Just say that the first thing you found was zero, which is not a big deal. Um, current max is fine. Current x is POS. That is correct. New level is uh, 
is current x. Right? Was that? Yeah, current x. Um, again, none of this really matters. It's just for telling you, uh, giving you some indication of how far along the AI has gotten. Uh, do we have an info levels? Oh yeah, that's what they dump into the thing. So this is looking good. I think we should be okay. Visited levels is a tuple of self-current level. I believe that should work. All we've done is take out the uh, Super Mario Bros specific stuff um, and put in our our section. If you don't want to do any of this, you can just comment it all out. It really it doesn't change anything. It, what is necessary is the step function it has to return this stuff. Okay which you can see happens right here. So the rest of the stuff is just, you know, uh, just so you can see those those words at the bottom of the training. Okay, so that'll do that. Uh, these, we need to change this also, known buttons, because it's a Super Nintendo, there's an X and there's a Y. Um, and I think, known buttons. Those are the same. Okay, so I think that works. The other thing I like to do when I'm doing these racing games is I like to insist that the AI <laughs> accelerate. Uh, I know that seems counterintuitive, but especially with the Mario Kart AI, he's really, he doesn't want to accelerate at the start. He just wants to sit still. Um, with A2C in particular, it's very, uh, the button presses are very random at the start, and it takes a long time for him to realize that he needs to learn to drive fast. So I just start him driving fast. That's, again, this is, you don't have to do this, you can do whatever you want, I just prefer this state. Um, okay, so we got Super Mario Kart L1. That was the state name, right? L1, yep. We changed the reward viewer so that it would make sense. And what else did we do? Where's the buttons? Limited discrete actions. So the point of this limited discrete action thing is you can limit the number of buttons available to the um, AI. A and B actually would work fine for Mario Kart. X and Y uh, are only useful for if he gets stuff that he can throw at the other guys, which would be cool if he learned as far as I'm concerned. Um, here we made it so that he always accelerates, which is not technically good form, but I want it to work quickly. <laughs> and I think that's kind of it. I think we can work now. Let's see what happens. What? Oh, can't spell. <laughs> Aren't you guys glad you're learning from me? Guy who can't spell words. Unknown resolution. Okay, that's right. There is more to this. Uh, so, is that in here? Where is that? Here it is. So, process frame. This is a, if you go back down to Mario N. Once, so those Mario N frame skip. This one comes from Jim, so there's not much to mess with that. Process frame 84. This resizes the image down to the standard Atari 84 by 84, which we need to add support for it with the, because uh, Mario is a Super Nintendo game, or sorry, a Nintendo game. So Mario Kart is a Super Nintendo game. They have a slightly different um, resolution in on the Super Nintendo versus the Nintendo, and it's 256. I believe that works. Let's change this to SNES. And then uh, there's an even there's another one too for um, uh, the Genesis. So if you guys are doing Genesis stuff, you need to pay attention to that. I'm at 14 minutes. So let's hope this works. Hey. Huh? Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. What did I do wrong? 
Oh. No one should ever let me program. That is the rule. If the frame is 224 by 256 by 3, resize to Heh. You can and I believe in you. What? What is happening? 224 256 3 Dull. Jeez, I'm I'm smart. I even like read it over. It's cause it's hard to think and talk simultaneously. It's much easier when you're uh, when you're just on your own. Okay, looking good. Come on. If it gets to the next thing, we know it's working. So to be perfectly honest, Super Mario Kart is not the best kind of game for this. The sort of stuff that they demonstrate in their video is more interesting. They have the the Doom demonstration, which is extremely interesting, uh, and the puzzle solving, the 3D puzzle solving one that gets caught and distracted by a uh, um, fuzzy TV. Super, super de duper cool. Like that's, <laughs> it's like fun because it, it feels like a commentary on the human condition. The AI is walking through a maze and is perfectly fine exploring the maze on its own. And then if you put a television up that plays new things, it stares at the television instead of progressing through the maze. It's beautiful. Okay, this means it's working guys. So in the next video, uh, I will show you how to um, create videos so you can watch your AI as it explores. See ya.